Good morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Now, what have I done here? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly the way it was at the end of the last episode. Uh, all I did was clean the paintbrush. Yeah, I just, uh, I guess my enthusiasm for it kind of waned. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, uh, maybe I should zoom in to so that when I talk about different little areas here that I was thinking about in the last few minutes, you can actually see it. So, uh, yeah, we might have a sunrise. What do we got here? It's, uh, yeah, I, I just, just noticed it just right now. It looks like it's peaking up there. Well, we'll see what happens. If it turns out to be nice, I'll show it to you. If it doesn't, well, I won't. It, I do believe it's going to be nice, though. Yeah, not very, not very often uh, I catch it right at this time. This was not planned. It was just a coincidence. Uh, I didn't, I didn't sit here watching it and then push, push the record button as soon as I thought I saw it. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, the, today's episode, I don't know how it's going to go because there isn't really a whole lot I can actually video. I'm not going to be doing a lot of different little things. It's going to be just more of the same. And uh, to get it done quickly, it probably would be best to not try and video it at the same time. Although I do... Well, I'm going to recompose here and then I'm going to explain what it is I'd like to do here. Uh, yeah, just just bear with me. Okay, so what I was noticing here, well, actually, I was noticing it on this other side here when I was painting this, but uh, this side is easier to video, so we'll, we'll use this one. The other side is just the exact same only mirror image. Now, when I paint this, should I maybe be going up and around these pieces as well? So I was wondering, well, how, how much of this... Uh, I don't know you call it the the base plate or whatever it was would would it would be visible so if we were to put our parts on there now let's see if we can get this right this time okay got it oh now it's covering up this thing here i'm just i'm just going to have to recompose a little bit and just swing everything around now, maybe I should have done a dry run here because this is actually the first time I'm trying this with some of these pieces. So I'm not 100% sure how well they're going to fit. Could be that I should have reamed out the holes. No, I think that's going to go down. There we go. All right, now... I can see it, so I'm sure you can too. The the flange part is visible. And we got this piece here. It has to go. Mm, got a message. Okay, it goes on there like so. All right. So yes, you can see that it might be advisable to, to do this where I'm touching right now. And uh, and this one here is, is this one. Does that want to go on there? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it it also is visible. Now this this one here is a some kind of a huge mushroom vent. It's actually a, a two part thing. Here's the top of it. And uh, just let me slide this down a little bit here. Now when it goes into place, how much of that is going to be seen? Well, probably we're not going to notice this one because it's sort of overshadows you might say the all right uh, I'll, I'll paint it anyway because maybe from the side it'll be it'll be seen 
but uh, not, not very much. Okay, I, I think you uh, understand now what I was talking about earlier. I'm just going to continue on now with the painting, and we'll see you back when I've got some more done. Now about this morning sunrise. Well, it was nothing special again, but it was nice, worth showing. Sort of acts as a bit of a fill-in, you might say, because, well, I really don't think I'm going to have a whole lot else to talk about here today. Yeah, I'm going to be busy painting in within the lines. <laughs> like when I was a little kid trying learning how to color. Stay in the lines, stay in the lines. Yeah, well, I am sort of noticing that I am going back to my second childhood. <laughs> okay. I continued on all the way around and uh, right, right over to the other side here and um, I was going to paint in, in here and then I started to think well I wonder how much uh, are we actually going to see of that because this, this is going to be difficult to mask and I'm thinking if I don't have to mask it and uh, Should I reshoot this? No, we won't reshoot it. The old fingers don't work as good as they used to. But as you can see, they're, they're pretty steady though, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, so this is supposed to... By the way, there are, are ten of these guns. And as far as I know, these are what you might call uh, five-inch guns, I believe. They, or they might have been six, but I don't think so. I think they were, I think they were a little smaller. Uh, let's just move in just a little bit here. Okay, so now this is going to go on here. Like that. No, not like that. There we go. Yeah, we we are going to be able to see underneath here. So that means that this, this has to be painted dark. I was hoping that maybe it wouldn't, but uh, it does. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I'm just going to paint the, the uh, platform part of this dark, and I imagine I had been planning to paint paint the uh, sides of the, what you might call the barbette part, the round, par round part, uh, the 19, so it would match this. I think I'll put the macro lens on for when I do these little uh, areas over here. So uh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that next. Now it could be that I might be better off using my smaller brush for this, but I think if I'm careful... Well, this isn't going as good as I'd hoped. It's kind of wicking its way up into the... Maybe I had too much on my brush there. Maybe that was the problem. See, I don't need to paint too far in, like, you know, like the, the round part. Probably getting out of your field of view right now. I think I'm trying to be so precise here just for the fun of it, just to see if I can.
doesn't look quite right here, does it? Just the line that I'm supposed to stay in is not real defined over here. At least maybe it's the way the light is reflecting. Now, as I'm sitting here editing out this clip right now, I'm thinking that in all probability, the viewers are thinking to themselves, how come Ron is having such a hard time keeping within the line? Or doesn't he know he's already painted there? Or doesn't he know he missed that spot? Or, Well, just remember, you're looking through the macro lens. You are literally seeing it, I'm guessing, ten times clearer than I am. <laughs> Have I said that before? Would I like to have the... I shouldn't talk and work at the same time. But what I like to have it is so that the paint sort of goes over the groove, about halfway, halfway over the groove of the line. And down into the trough, if you know what I mean. But not up over the other side. Now we're talking, you know, probably a hundredth of a millimeter here. Okay, now I think that this, this area that I'm touching right now is going to be completely covered with plastic, so I don't need to worry about it. And is there a little spot right there that I missed? Or am I only going to make it worse? Okay, what do we got here? No, our circle here. Whoop. Just trying to cover up the get down into the into the groove there. I'm seeing you probably see it too. It looks like there's deck tan there on my side of the line. It's kind of funny, I'm getting a cramp in the in my hand that I'm using using for steadying. <laughs> Now this this that I'm painting right this moment is going to be I'm probably making a mistake by you know filling in the hole because I have to ream it out later anyway. Okay, I'm going to come sort of more straight down onto it. Okay, I, I don't think I can improve too much on that. There's maybe a little bit of deck tan. Okay, I'm not seeing it now. Uh, now I do see deck tan there, but like I say, it's no use uh, painting that. Oh, did I? Oh yeah, I did do this one. Okay. Um, okay, we got all the way around here. Yeah, I think by trying to improve on it, I'm just going to make it worse. So let's just uh, quit while we're ahead here. Okay, a bit of time has passed here now. And uh, I'm sure you saw it too. But there was a spot that I missed. 
and it just really irks me to think that I could miss something so obvious and uh, let's see here yeah I, I can see it real plain now I think I can use my smallest brush which is this one right here okay I think it's better I'm, I'm not seeing it maybe we could just go just a little bit more towards me here there okay I don't think I need to slip the macro lens on to sort of widen it out just a little bit there okay now I'll be able to sleep tonight okay I am basically done this uh, lower section now been all the way around I've decided to paint the the uh, the base of these five inch turrets uh, the dark gray because first of all the 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 side that, that I would be painting the 19 later is, is very very narrow probably won't be noticed that much and the it would be just too hard not to get the 19 on this on the on the base here you can see I, I've, I've painted them uh, yeah, I'm, I think that, uh, oh, there's one spot here I'm going to have to take the uh, panel line accent color and put some maybe on one of uh, uh, Gabe's swabs here and, uh, and darken it because what happened was I tried to wipe it off. Uh, I went, I went, in other words, I went over the line and I tried to wipe it off and I ended up wiping off the panel line color. And, and uh, if you remember me saying that if you're going to have something that you know is wrong you want the, the wrong to be dark not light <laughs> because the light will show up so I'm gonna have to try and darken that and if I get it too dark well it probably won't show up because it'll be dark right at least that's the plan uh, it's it's still uh, still wet in places uh, I, I just finished up here just a few minutes ago um, by the way uh, Putting the paint retarder in here really helped. It, it really helped to, to, to keep the paint from drying up on the brush. And, uh, anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Now all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow.